Glass number two, he gathers it down and watch for the ball face, which gets everybody jumping for Michigan State. Here it's tough enough getting this ball and bringing it down. Watch this ball thing. Bang. Everybody starts to leap, trying to block shots. You end up in you come into this game if you're Alabama State with like a pen and paper looking for autographs. If you do, you're really going to be in trouble because Michigan State will just really pummel you. Randolph, the McDonald's All-American with a quick turnaround. Good little set to here. Spinning, doing everything he could to avoid the block shot, especially the tip on the way up. 13-10. Zach Randolph trying to muscle his way inside, and it's controlled by Alabama. Burton was leaning towards his right side of the body and picks up his second foul. But Bell is very explosive when he gets you out of position just for a moment. And now Tom Izzo will get recognized that he still had a chance to get a pass up instead of forcing a shot. It's going the other way, Randolph. Fending off for position. The Michigan State is clearly trying to drop the ball down on the blocks as much as possible. Three and they have just one, one and done there. But watch the cut along the baseline and watch for the quick drift. And the shot clock, you can just about see it up there at the top of the picture. Well, clearly he controlled Alabama State, controlled the tempo. We will keep you updated on that score, but right now. Oh, the Zach Randolph. Yeah. Eventually, and the foul. That's the third foul on Wack player here, Melvin Eli. Yet... Michigan State out rebounds its opponents by more than 15 per game, the highest rebound margin in college basketball in 21 years. And the Spartans' rebounding prowess has captured Gonzaga's attention. That's Renato Boise at 6'8, 250. And again, a one point game. With the offense chicken on the spin out. And right now, Michigan State against the zone having their problem. They settle for a jumper by Taylor. That time a foul. They're not running their little screens, but the elevation here is extraordinary. Almost like Richard Jefferson when he gets in the lane, but Richardson, Ballinger, Randolph, Bell, and Thomas, the five on the floor for Michigan State. Thank you, Don. Wow, and you go to the free throw line. Boy, what a target in there. Huh? Yeah, he is. So he presents himself in the basketball. Get it to me. I can do some damage. That's the problem in the zone. He screamed on the baseline, Vern, and then stepped into the lane. Zach Randolph, who has been sad, uh, started eight games along with Marcus Taylor this year. Went back to the bench, but he's in double figures in minutes and points per game. Saturday on CBS, Craig T. Nelson stars as a police chief who's on a mission to stop crime in Washington, D.C. To see why the district is Saturday's number one show. Do not miss it. Well, if we have 500 people, that would be a big crowd. Here there are thousands in high school. That one rejected. Racked off for the putback. And that's where the size, the weight, the strength, the impact. To the final four. He's got a little of a Judge Heathcote personality, you know. Don't be satisfied. Nice dump off. Yep. Ready. Oh, yeah. Just doing so many things inside, but the bailout pass. Well, you can see Michigan State's difficulty when they settle early. They have some problems, but the interior passing, when you look at tape, they, this team gives it to one another. Good hands, good recognition. They haven't noticed it yet. Dick out took, I think, a fall arm. And he stayed down there, and it was cherry picking. Randolph, deep in the lane. Out of the nickname Bulldogs, and they play in the kennel. Right, they do. That's, which is amazing because they very seldom blow 115 and 9 at home. That's not something new, by the way. Even your one creative not getting the opportunities that the show accustomed to getting. Back to Taylor, and here's Randolph. He'll take the jumper when they give it to him. Taylor goes left. Very step, nice. And the target there, too. The wide body, you just can't. You beat Bell, you think you're going to have an easy look. Tom Rizzo doesn't think his guys ever foul. I mean, they're the heavyweight division of basic college basketball. Put the knockdown. Oh, with Norm Pugh in a uh, prayer of Thanksgiving after victory. Nice little post up. Wow. Tough to beat that combination, though. We were able to kick it off with some open uh, jump shots. We were them down in the second half a lot, you know. Um, you know, I think uh, Coward got tired a little bit. I think the big guy got tired. We just we just went at him, you know. We took the ball out strong and just... Michigan State's win.